Hello and welcome to Recycled Rhythms Upcycled. This is the fourth video in the Recycled Rhythms series and in the first three videos we have focused on making musical instruments out of things that you can find around the house, whether it be junk or everyday household objects, you can make music at home. And the first three videos, which you can still find on the Stoke-on-Trent City Music Service YouTube channel, will tell you exactly how to do that with lots and lots of different objects and junk materials that you'll find at home. Don't forget also to check out the City Music Service's very own Facebook page, and on there you'll find some activity worksheets to go with each one of the videos with some written instructions and a few further ideas to help you with making things at home. So what are we going to do now in our fourth video? Well, in Recycle Rhythms Upcycled, this is all about the music that you can make. So let's get started. So to make music, we need a few different ingredients. One of the most important ingredients that we need is a good steady beat. Some people call this a pulse, just like we have a heartbeat and we also can feel our pulse, which is really just the same as our heartbeat, but just found in a different part of our body. So in music, we can use the words pulse and beat fairly interchangeably. So we need to keep a steady beat. Now, the chances are, if you listen to a piece of music, you'll be able to either clap along or tap your foot or nod your head in time with the music. And that's what we mean by keeping a steady beat. But at the moment, we don't have a piece of music to play along with because we are going to make the music ourselves. But to help us, there are one or two things that we can do. Perhaps you've got somebody else at home that can just help you by keeping a steady beat. Or perhaps you might even have something like this. This is what we call a metronome. And the metronome is a very clever musical device which allows us to keep a steady beat. And what happens, it's a bit like a pendulum on a clock, on an old-fashioned type of clock. And what happens is that the pendulum swings, but it swings the other way, and it helps us keep a steady beat. Now, if I wanted to, I could change the speed of that beat by moving this little weighted section up or down. It just slides up or down. But I'm going to stay with that speed. I'm just going to put it down there because it needs to be flat. Now, the chances are, though, you might not well have one of these at home, but that's not a problem because on mobile phones and other devices, you can download a free metronome app. There are various different ones out there, and it will tick along at a steady beat at whatever speed you choose. So already you can hear, I am talking at the same speed as my steady beat. So this is going to keep our steady beat. So, a little bit of practice, let's clap along, here we go. So we're now keeping a steady beat together. Now, in our first Recycle Rhythms video, we looked at a musical instrument that we could use to make drums. And one of the things we looked at was buckets. We might need a drumstick as well. And there are all sorts of ways you can make drumsticks. Here's my wooden spoon from Recycle Rhythms video one. So. Now, at Stoke-on-Trent City Music Service, we thought perhaps since we're talking about recycle rhythms, we could also think about recycling and caring for our planet and making sure that we're all good eco-warriors and that we tidy up after ourselves. And I'm sure you've heard of the words reduce, reuse, recycle. It's what we're all encouraged to do to make sure that we don't put too much waste and rubbish into landfill sites. And if we recycle, we can put them to good use once again, rather than having to throw things away. So, to help us, to think about what we can do with our Recycle Rhythms instrument, we are going to use some words to do with recycling and caring for our planet. The easiest one to do if you've got some kind of a drum, which could be a tin, a box, it doesn't matter, it doesn't have to be buckets of course, 
but we can use the words please recycle, please recycle, please recycle, please recycle. Please recycle. So those are some words that we can use to keep our steady beat. Let's see what else we could try. Now I found this in my garage the other day. It's a frisbee. Even that can be a drum. Here we go again. Please recycle. Please recycle. Now if you want to do something a little bit more exciting on your drum than just keeping a beat, you could try something nice and straightforward like Put it in the bin. Put it in the bin. So why don't you have a go at playing one of those two rhythms along with me now? You can either play please recycle, please recycle, or put it in the bin. Put it in the bin. Are you ready? Steady. Off we go. Please recycle, please recycle, put it in the bin, put it in the bin, very good, put it in the bin, please recycle. So how about we find a rhythm for our rhythm sticks? Now these were just sawn up bits of broom handles, but you don't have to do that, you could maybe have two spoons, two rulers, two pens, two pencils, it really doesn't matter. You can make rhythm sticks with almost anything. So let's try some rhythms for our rhythm sticks. Let's start with our pulse again, our beat. Now let's try this one, shall we? Reduce, reuse, recycle. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Are you ready to try it with me? Ready? Two, three, four. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Very good. Now, if you want a slightly trickier version of that, you can change that rhythm slightly and say, reduce, reuse, recycle. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Reduce, reuse, recycle. So maybe let's now try both of those one after the other, shall we? So we'll do the first one four times. That was reduce, reuse, recycle. And then we'll do the trickier one four more times after that. Here we go. Ready? One, two, three, four. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Very good. Are you ready for the tricky one? Ready, steady, off we go. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Excellent. Well done. Now, of course, if you wanted to on your rhythm sticks, you could do as we did with the drums and just keep it simple and have please recycle or even put it in the bin. So have fun playing with those. Let's now have a think about what we can do with our shakers. Now, I don't know about you, but I wouldn't fancy drinking what's in here because these are some stones that we used to make one of our shakers in our second Recycle Rhythm video. So, what can we do with one of our shakers? Now, of course, shakers can come in different shapes and sizes. This one was decorated by one of my own children. This one has rice in it. And this one has the stones. This one has some pasta in some yogurt pots there as well. So there's all sorts of fillings that you can use to make your shakers. Just check out video number two again and you'll have lots and lots of ideas of things that you can use. So what can we do? to play some rhythms with our shakers, because that's what we're now doing. We started off playing on the beat or playing a pulse. Uh, we're now playing rhythms, and rhythms are simply patterns of sounds, some shorter sounds, some longer sounds. When you put them together, like when you put words into a sentence, it makes a rhythm. So, 
let's have a look at a rhythm that we can use for our shakers. How about this? Because shakers sound fantastic if you hold them like this, particularly bottle shakers. They sound brilliant if you hold them like this and then shake them like this. So how about we go, everyone recycle everything. Everyone recycle everything. Now we'll have to have a couple of silent beeps at the end. Let's try that with our metronome, with our pulse ticking along over here. So it will go, everyone recycle everything. Everyone recycle everything. Now, if it's a little bit tricky to shake it quite as much as I am, you can, you can slow it down and do this. Everyone recycle everything. Listen to how it works. So for each syllable of the word, each part of the word, I'm just shaking it either forwards or backwards. Should we try it again? Here it goes. So that's everyone recycle everything. And again, everyone recycle everything. Now, of course, we could do that using the double shape that I was doing. So with this one with the rice in, that will sound like this. Everyone recycle everything. Everyone recycle everything. Of course, if that's a little bit too tricky, what you could do is something a little bit simpler and try this. And that is recycle rhythms. Recycle rhythm. But did you notice we have to wait for beat number one? So if this is one, two, three, four, it's one. Recycle rhythm. And actually, beat number four is silence as well. So we are playing our shaker on the second half of beat number one. And then we're playing it twice on beat two and twice on beat number three. Now that all sounds very complicated. But it doesn't need to. Have another listen. Recycle rhythm. And one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Recycle rhythm. Recycle rhythm. Or perhaps for this time, it should be upcycle rhythm. Upcycle with them. So there we are. There's an idea of something that you can do with your shaker. But the best thing to do is just experiment and have fun. Let's move on to our clickers now, shall we? So in the third video of the Recycle Rhythm series, we made clickers. And we say clickers are fantastic because they're very, very versatile. That means you can use them in lots and lots of different ways. And one of the ways that we use them was to make a clicker bell. So you make a clicker and then you put it inside the top half of a bottle. Instructions of exactly how to do that are in the third Recycled Rhythms video. And don't forget the worksheets which you can get from the City Music Service Facebook page as well, which have some photographs and some written instructions of how to make a clicker bell. So let's find a rhythm for our clicker bell. So let's try keep our city tidy. Keep our city tidy. Now perhaps you don't live in a city. I don't. I live in a village. So you could have keep our village tidy. Keep our village tidy. So once again, let's try that with our steady beat, our steady pulse from our metronome. So let's think in our heads how this is going to sound, shall we? Should we try it? It goes, keep our city tidy, keep our city tidy, keep our city tidy, or keep our village tidy, keep our village tidy. Now perhaps you're watching this and maybe you haven't had a chance 
to make any instruments yet. Well, that's okay too, because as we said earlier, it's very easy to find something like some wooden spoons, a bucket or a washing up bowl or a tin or an ice, old ice cream container and turn them straight away into a musical instrument. Just do remember to make sure that things are clean and that things are safe before you use them. So perhaps you haven't got an instrument with you right now. Perhaps you haven't even got wooden spoons. Doesn't matter because we can use our hands. We can use our bodies to play these rhythms as well. So let's have a quick reminder, a quick practice of some of these rhythms and let's see what you can do with these. Perhaps you can try different rhythms on your instruments that you've made. So here, once again, is our steady beat. Okay, so here we go then, are you ready? We started with please recycle, please recycle. And perhaps then we could try put it in the bin, put it in the bin. Which instrument have you just played that on, I wonder? Let's try reduce, reuse, recycle, reduce, reuse, recycle. Or there was a slightly trickier version of that one and it went like this. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Shall we try recycle rhythm? Here we go. Recycle rhythms. Recycle rhythms. And one that we tried for our shakers was everyone recycle everything. Everyone recycle everything. So there we are. I hope that that has given you lots and lots of rhythm ideas of things that you can play on your recycled rhythms, musical instruments that you've been making along with me. Perhaps you can think of your own rhythms that you could play as well to words that you could come up with about recycling, keeping where we live tidy, reusing things, not putting things in the bin unnecessarily and caring for the world that we live in. Perhaps you can come up with your own and if so do send them in via the Stoke-on-Trent City Music Facebook page. We'd love to know what you've been doing. Maybe even send us some photos of your musical instruments that you've been making. It would be lovely to see those as well. So thank you for being with us. I hope you've enjoyed Recycle Rhythms Upcycled and perhaps I'll see you again very, very soon. But for now, keep playing, have fun making music and keep making those musical instruments. Take care. Bye-bye.